Boy, has she come a long way. The youngest of the famous Jacksons is right now outperforming every member of the Jackson 5, Michael included. But getting to this place where she's not only found her own identity, but enjoying such amazing success hasn't been easy. We caught up with Janet in London. We're on stage and off. Her soul is singing. Be true to yourself. It's tonight's Inside Story. It's her hottest tour yet through Europe. Janet Jackson is giving it up for her fans, and they just can't get enough. For Janet, the success of her Velvet Rope tour is a major coup. She took a real risk this time writing songs that reveal a lot about her life. It's a very vulnerable, you know, place to really be in. I mean, it's like cutting yourself open and exposing your insides to everyone. Especially when exposing the pain of growing up with famous brothers. Come here, little boy. Janet herself was working and singing like a grown-up by the time she was ten. Baby. But working full-time in a spotlight while searching for identity in the shadow of the Jackson 5 left little time to be a little girl. And in one song, she sings to that child. I was talking to myself. I'm talking to myself, to the myself when I was younger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were you saying to her? Um, letting her know that, uh, that it's okay. But there are times the songs do get to her. I did start to cry on stage. Have you reached a place of forgiveness? I'm still working on it. But I'm, I'm working to that, that space where I can say, okay, I understand, and I do forgive you, and I'm okay with it. Janet says there has been healing, though, with Michael and her other brothers and sisters. It's with her father, Joe, she still has much to come to terms with. She was never allowed to call him dad. Do you ever ask him why? No, I never did. That was all I needed to hear. I didn't, I, I, it hurt me. It still hurts when I think about it, but, uh, and I still call him that to this day. Does he know that it hurt you? Yeah, I did in, uh, an interview, and uh, we talked about it, and he, 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 that's when he found out. And uh, he wrote me a letter, and uh, he had a lot to say. Was it interesting for you to hear his perspective on it all? Uh-huh. It, it really was very interesting, but I just can't openly start calling someone dad now just because they said it's okay now. It's like, no, it's it's not about that. It, it takes time. There are things that I have to work through, and there's a lot of pain that's there. It's that pain that caused Janet the deepest depression of her life. Writing these songs for this album helped her heal. What was it that got you out of there? It was that little tiny... That little tiny light of, uh, of hope, really, is what it was. And sometimes I could barely see it. I could barely see it. And sometimes I felt like the walls were just closing in on me. And people look at you and they say, you're Jimmy Jeff, you have it all, no matter how wealthy or how poor you are. And it's tough growing up, and a lot happens. And some of us never get over that. But I, I'm trying to learn to love myself, which is the point that we all should get to and uh i've 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 i like i like who i am now janet as you can see is soul searching for sure you can hear it in her music we applaud her candor and her courage and we thank her for sharing her story with us janet will head to the states on july 9th for the kickoff of her 49 city u.s tour first stop washington dc